Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Core Keeper with another Let's Play tutorial video. Last episode we went over food production, basically finding seeds, planting seeds, growing seeds, harvesting seeds, making some food. Probably one of the most important mechanics of the game. While we were doing that, we came across a little bit of an area with some treasures in it. I didn't want to do it on that episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to a quick little episode about treasure hunting and finding sort of random resources around your world uh, and how to sort of deal with them. So let's go jump in the game and get right at it. All right. So here we are in this little area. Now, this is a very, very simple, uh, you know, chest or crate storage area there are more complex ones out there in the world where you get like little sort of science fictiony type looking things or other sort of like little areas this one is very very simple very straightforward you're going to find it in your starting biome what i want to do first is let's get rid of the slime here he's he's scaring me he's making me a little nervous and while i'm at it one of the other things we came across oh look at that there's a piece of copper ore right there is this copper sort of ball and it's a giant metallic item we actually need a drill for that so that's something we're gonna have to get to in the future if you see them in your world keep an eye on them remember where they're at you're gonna have to come back to them a little bit later now as far as these chests go or these crates go what we can do is we can just go and break them and we end up getting a drop out of them. So look at that. We actually got a cave pouch plus five inventory slots. Every underground miner needs one of these, which is awesome. We can throw it up there. You can see it adds five slots right to our inventory area over there, which is really, really cool. I like that. If you've got something in it, you take it off. It goes pops into your inventory. I think if your inventory is extra full, you'll end up dropping items on the ground, which you might not want to do. So you probably got to be careful with that. But other than that, that is really cool. It actually kind of negates what we're going to be uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today. But as you break these chests open, you're go basically going to be filling up your inventory and slime's getting in my way. So the more of these crates that we break, the more items that we pick up. Oh, I got a wood fishing rod as well. That's really cool. You're going to end up filling up your inventory, especially if you've been out and about, you know, mining. You're going to have dirt, you could have ores, you're going to have other resources on you. What we can do to basically make it easier to take these back is with our shovel, we're going to right click and we actually pick up the crate itself. So in our inventory, we've got wooden crates right there. Each wooden crate is exactly the same. They're totally stackable. All we're going to do is continue our mining. We're not, you know, filling up any sort of extra spots. We're only using up one for the multiple ones. Once we're done, once we're full up, we can go head back to our base. All right, so here's a little bit of a problem. Uh, I forgot to record this part while I was actually doing the, my original recording. I've come back to do it, but I messed up. And for whatever reason, my microphone wasn't synced. So now I'm doing a vo voice over to this little area here. So what I'm doing here is I'm explaining about the X marks to spot. So as you go out exploring, you're going to find these little X's on the ground. They basically indicate there's some treasure to dig up the treasure. Basically what you got to do is right click with the shovel in your hand. That's going to dig up the treasure. This particular case, I got this Oracle card. It is not a mechanical part of the game. It is more like a decorative part of the game. You can sell them later on to get some coins that you can use to buy some other stuff. That's um, something we're going to have to deal with uh, in the future. But for right now, the whole point of this little segment here is there are also little treasure spots. As you go around, keep an eye out for them and, you know, dig them up. You're going to get some cool stuff. And then once at our base, we can go empty out the rest of our inventory into storage, or we can go throw it into our furnaces. We can basically make a little bit more room. Then we can go take those crates, put them into our hot bar, and basically place them down right here. Again, they are totally random depending on which block they're placed on. So in this particular block, we get a large crate. If I go place it on the one right below it, I get a small crate. It's the exact same crate. It's just there's a grid in the world in the background and you'll see this with some certain floors that you pick up. Depending on where you place it, it's going to you know, show up a little bit differently. It's the exact same item. It's just got a little bit of a different display uh, feature on it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go break that now. And we got some fiber and it looks like we picked up something else. I didn't really see what it was. 
Let's clear our hotbar. We break that one. That one didn't have anything in it. That one didn't have anything in it. We got another fishing rod out of that. Didn't get anything there. Tin ore, that's awesome. It is nice to get that early on. And it looks like we got a little bit more copper out of that. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So that's a little tip. That's a little trick for finding items out in your world that maybe filling up your inventory. If you break them there, you can always bring them back to your base, break them here. And then you're not, you know, having to leave stuff behind, which is the last thing you really, really want to do. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys found it informative. It is a very, very short video, but I thought it was something important that you guys might need to know out there. If you did enjoy this video, though, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi, as well to be linked to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good.